Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. You know, uh, we've got a couple of questions, uh, comments. First of all, there's a, somebody called Avi saying, do you guys support Taliban? Um, <laughs> just to really? clarify, we, we support the Quran and the Sunnah. Yeah. Whoever supports the Quran and the Sunnah, we support. So yeah. we, 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 with regards to uh, individuals or specific governments, how can we speak about specific governments when we don't know what they're going to do tomorrow, uh, what they, what we know what they've done in the past. So, you know, uh, the, anyone else have a comment? Features? <laughs> I <laughs> features, knew it was coming, man. Right? Features, you spot Taliban. <laughs> <laughs> America, you know, because you're from Canada, right? And so you're yeah. next to America. They're supporting Taliban. America just gave... <laughs> Taliban, the, the land, subhanAllah. Yeah. They just gave them like, what, billion, like 30 billion pounds of weapons or something, <laughs> subhanAllah. Yeah. Look at here, kids. <laughs> that explains our That's all, right? folks. <laughs> Look at your children. All right. When it comes to, to the Taliban, right, these are the same people that the U.S. government supported uh, when they were having their cold war with russia you understand they called them freedom fighters they called him they called them you know um they called them mujahideen whatever uh osama bin laden himself thanked the u.s government for their support in terms of weaponry and training you know all of this all of this happened you understand then in typical treacherous uh u.s fashion when they decided that it's time to you know uh, rob whichever country it is of their resources. They needed a boogeyman, and that boogeyman just happened to be the same Taliban that they supported. You feel me? I, you know, if you, I mean, I don't want to go through a whole long history of uh, Afghanistan and whatnot, but essentially, uh, the Taliban back in in uh, two thousand, I want to say two thousand and three, right? Uh, after 9-11 and whatnot, and then uh, George Bush was on his rampage. Uh, when they were saying that, you know, the, they wanted Osama bin Laden or whatever, they wanted the Taliban to, to hand over Osama bin Laden, the Taliban said, okay, we'll hand him over if you pre present proof that he was responsible for 9-11, right? That's what they said. And as a matter of fact, they offered a full surrender to the United States government back in that time. Oh, a lot of y'all don't know that, but we know because we were around, <laughs> you know what I mean? We were there at that time. You understand? You got to understand how geopolitics works. The Taliban didn't just happen in a vacuum. It didn't just come up like by 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 no reason or or you know what I'm saying? You know, these while these people are pay, playing three-dimensional chess all the Muslims out in the world out here are still trying to figure out how to play checkers. You feel me? You know, so these, these all of these um, so-called uh, terrorist groups or Islamic terrorist groups, they're all America's groups. All of them. Whether it's ISIS, whether it's Taliban, whether it's uh, uh, Al-Qaeda, it doesn't make a difference. You know what I mean? Yeah, so if, if you go on... on on the features channel, I do go into some details about that. I don't want to give a whole lecture about that, but at the what I'm what I'm saying is that for Muslims, when it comes to these political issues in other people's countries, the best thing to do is to stay out of it and ask for success from Allah for the truth and the people of the truth. That's the best mm -hmm. way because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And one of the best books you can read to figure out what's going on behind the scenes is a, is a book by a man, man named John Perkins. It's called uh, Confessions of an Economic Hitman. Yeah, yeah. Read that book, and then you will see why every single Muslim country is the way that they are. So otherwise, you're going to get played. You know what I mean? You have one set of Muslims talking about, you know, oh, we need to fight the Muslim leaders and blah, 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 not knowing, not realizing that these are, you know, these are... Uh, you know, the colonial, colonialist leaders, 
the col the colonizers put them in there. Yep. You mm -hmm. feel me? And then they have another another group of people uh, saying, "Oh, we got to fight against the terrorist groups," not realizing that these are, you know, the colonizers' terrorist groups. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? You know, um, you're, you're fighting we'll each other. You have, uh, yeah, you know, ahead, I think ahead, we, one one thing as Muslims, we 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 have to be really careful where we take our information from. It's very, it, yeah. it, in some ways, we think, oh, it's easier to know stuff these days because of Google and YouTube. But in other ways, it's like, well, it's more difficult to know stuff because it's hard to find the correct sources because there's so much mm -hmm. stuff on there. And w whether we like it or not, being from the West or wherever you live in the world, we've been affected by media, you know, yeah. and, and, and we automatically, we see, sadly, um, uh, Muslims, we just really put them down and think the worst of them. The bottom line is that there's new leadership now in Afghanistan. Whether people like it or not, this is the reality. And and when that happens, and that there's no war now, I mean, it's got to be better than when they're dropping drones. You know, more people die when drones are being dropped than when there's just normal uh, fighting or whatever. We just make dua, as the feature said, remember them in your dua, hope for peace, and hope that, that they, they do the right job. But when it comes to saying, do we support them? We support them with our dua. We ask Allah to make them be just and, 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 and lead properly. You know, that doesn't mean that we agree with what they do or we agree with what they're going to do. But it also doesn't mean that we automatically criminalize them. You know, hmm. if they were so bad, you have to ask the question, why did America leave and leave all the people, okay, and all the weapons? You know, you have to ask that question. You know, who is the bad one then? Okay, if they're as bad as you say they are, then America even worse for leaving. You know, so, you know, the America, America, like a lot of people, they don't understand how devilish these people are, man. They're yeah. incredibly dev devilish. We're not talking about the citizens now. We're not talking about like just the regular uh, people on the ground, but when you're talking about geopolitics from mm -hmm. Europeans and Western uh, countries, they do some of the most sick things and get the people to sign off on, on it. Who mm -hmm. heard of ISIS-K before Afghanistan? Did anybody hear of ISIS-K before Afghanistan? Before like a couple of weeks ago? Did anybody no. even know who they were? No. All of a sudden, we have ISIS K after America leaves, in typical um, what you call it, nation building fashion, mm -hmm. uh, creating suicide bombs, mm. Sui suicide bombing. You know what I mean? This is their playbook. They're devils. They're very devilish people, and they have this divide and conquer strategy that they've been using for the last five hundred years. Right, so guys. Not, not everything gonna... is everything. Everything is not what it seems.